First, I'll have you uh, just introduce yourself. Uh, my name is John Potts. I am a remote broadcast engineer here at WRAL. All right, so uh, I guess what is Starlink? Uh, Starlink is a way that you can provide an internet connection to a place that generally doesn't have cell service or a, a, you can get an internet connection in an area where you normally otherwise couldn't. Particularly in this instance, we've been using it in a disaster area because there is no cell service. There's no uh, ISP connection. So this is the only way that we can transmit video back to the station is by using one of these devices. So what does it look like? Uh, it looks like this here. Uh, it's basically just a square satellite dish. Uh, it has an array of antenna in there that shoots up to the sky towards uh, low orbit satellites, a field of 6,000 of them, I believe. Uh, and it will ping pong between different satellites as they move because low orbit satellites move a lot quicker than high orbit satellites. Generally, high orbit satellites are in geosynchronous movement with the Earth, so it takes 24 hours for a full revolution. These satellites, because they're low orbit, it only takes about 90 minutes. So they're moving so quickly that there has to be a field of them for them to be able to connect to and stay connected. Perfect. And pretty reliable? Uh, yeah, quite reliable, quite reliable. Uh, as, as evidenced by this last week, we've been using them in, in, in great number and they've been great. Yeah. And could anyone buy this? Uh, absolutely. Uh, um, it is. It's, for what it does, it's very affordable, uh, it's very user friendly, it has an app that's associated with it, so as long as you connect to the device, you've plugged everything in and you open up the app, the app will pretty much do all the heavy lifting for you and tell you exactly what's going on. Yeah, and is that purchased online or could you like go to Best Buy? You can, you can, go, you can purchase it online, you can buy it at Best Buy. Now, when you purchase it online, you probably are then able to set up the subscription with it. If you go to a big box store like Best Buy, you would buy the device and then go online and pick your subscription plan. So say you can't afford one, could you still access one of these if you were out in Western North Carolina and happen upon one with somebody? Uh, possibly, now you need to, add, because uh, you wouldn't be directly connected at that point, I imagine you'd be using Wi-Fi, you need to go up and ask the person who Starlink it is, what are the credentials for your Wi-Fi, but yeah, absolutely. Gotcha, um, and does it work with all types of cell phones, computers, any sort of smart devices like that? Anything that, has a, that can connect to Wi-Fi or has a direct uh, ethernet connection, yes, it'll work. Gotcha. Um, so how can people without service due to Helene best get connected to something like this? Uh, that, that's a difficult question because, I mean, the, the obvious answer is just to buy one, but I don't think that they have those capabilities. So uh, hopefully there are communities that already have them in place and hopefully they're getting the word out to say, hey, if you need to connect to the internet to even get cell service so you can contact your family or let people know what's going on. You need to know someone that has a Starlink. But if you do, all you got to do is connect to it. Gotcha. So I know that they've been dropping them in for like, you know, community purposes like that. Mm -hmm. if, like you went to a library that had one, they just would have to give you a password and you'd essentially be able to connect that way. I believe so, yeah. All right, cool. So um, any idea like how much it would cost for a regular person? Uh, well, I can tell you that uh, the this model here was uh, $500 just for the device itself. Now, the subs subscription plan uh, can range depending on what you're looking for, but I mean that's pretty much the hard cost is, is the $500. I mean, if you I believe it's a monthly subscription, so if you needed it in an emergency, I can't imagine that the bar of entry would be that high just to get it off the ground for that month. Gotcha. Um, how many connections do they usually see per day? That's uh, one of these questions. Uh, I guess it depends on the scenario. Um, I mean, if you're putting it in a disaster recovery site and there are a bunch of people there, I mean, tens, hundreds. I mean, it depends on how much bandwidth you're able to use and how much bandwidth those users are using. But like in our instance, we had uh, about five connections. We had two live views connected. We had uh, uh, both the photographer and the talent be able to con be connect to the Wi-Fi so they can hear what's going on in the newscast. Uh, and so, uh, and my cell phone as well. So that was about five connections. So I think it varies based on need and usage. Yeah. Um, any idea how many connections Starlink as a, a total uh, is seeing because of Helene? And oh goodness, like individual devices pointed yeah. up? Oh, I couldn't even begin to imagine, but I, I would definitely say that they're growing rapidly. Yeah. All right, cool. I think that's it. Cool. Great.